Hello chaps, welcome to John Robson Guitar Tuition once again as always. I do hope you're well. Now today it's the turn of this guitar, the Harley Benton TE70 Rosewood Deluxe. Um, but before we get on to that, there is a little bit of unfinished business from the previous guitar, the Harley Benton ST70 Black Paisley. Uh, it sold on eBay for £130 and here I am donating that cash to Zoe's Place. Right then, here we go. This is the Zoe's Place website and I'm about to donate the proceeds of the Harley Benton ST70 Black Paisley. So let's hit the donate button. Uh, yes, I would like to gift aid my donation and donate with PayPal. There we go. And the guitar fetched £130 on eBay. So let's type that in here. There we go. No, we're not going to make this a monthly donation. And there we go. There we go. And you'll donate £130 and donate now. So, that's the uh, proceeds from the guitar that you guys bought. Now going to a very worthy cause indeed. Thank you so much everyone who donated to this. And... I think it's about time we looked at another guitar, don't you? So as you can see, the money is going to the good cause. I uh, just want to make sure that everything is transparent and seen to be above board and there's no kind of suspicion of any shenanigans whatsoever. Basically the money is going where I said it was going to go. So let's get on with this guitar. Let's have a look at how it came out of the box, shall we? Right then folks, here we go with the second Harley Benton uh, Guitars for Good Causes unboxing. This is the TE70 Rosewood Deluxe Series, basically a Rosewood Telecaster copy. And let's open it up. And once again, we have all the necessary Allen key adjusters and a spare cable. Uh, so let's get this out of the bag. Here we go. Interested to see how this one is set up compared to the uh, ST70 strap copy that we looked at uh, yesterday. And Oh yes, we've got one of these little uh, Plectrum credit card things. Always have a spare pick in your wallet. Uh, I'll put that in the box and whoever gets this guitar will get that as well. <clears throat> so there we go, first look at it. It looks really rather nice. That rosewood, I believe it's called an artificial rosewood veneer, which means it could be anything. It could be formica, couldn't it really? Um, there we go. Uh, first impressions are very favourable. The action does look a little bit high. Um, not as high as the uh, ST70 was, but I'm sure we can fettle that up. Once again, we have the new Harley Benton logo, which I've got to say, I much prefer to the old one. And, okay, yeah, let's... Um, turn the camera off and go and see what fettling needs to be done and then we'll come back and check out how it all sounds and plays and all the rest of it. Okay so I mentioned there that uh, it had a little bit of a high action nowhere near as high as the previous guitar the strap copy but um, still needed a little bit of tweaking. Fortunately, a little bit of truss rod adjustment uh, soon sorted that out and it now has a beautifully low, buzz-free, choke-free action. It plays beautifully. Um, now, we'll get on to uh, the details and kind of spec of the guitar in a moment, uh, but someone yesterday asked me what the guitars are plugged into. Uh, it's my Vox Tone Lab ST. Uh, I use it for all my guitar tones and um, it's also the audio interface for me PC. Uh, someone also asked uh, about can we see some um, close-up shots of the guitar so 
always willing to oblige here is a little montage i put together um, just showing various shots of the guitar and you also get to hear what it sounds like <laughs> Right then, so it's not a bad looking guitar. There are a couple of things that I will draw to your attention. Uh, first and foremost, you probably can't see here, so I'll just inset a photo. At the sixth fret, there's a little bit of a dark blob on the fingerboard. Um, it could be just a natural part of the wood grain, or it could be just um, a bit of stain that's uh, been applied or something that's just got spilled or something it's it doesn't really look out of place but it is there and I want anybody who's bidding on this guitar to know all of the uh, the facts the other thing is up here where the truss rod adjuster is again I'll put a photo up of that again um, just that the cavity where you insert the allen key to adjust the truss rod the it's a little bit scraped um, that probably that's too strong a word it's it's had a little bit of uh, friction on it at some point I think po uh, possibly when the guitar was being uh, set up in the factory somebody was a little bit overzealous with the truss rod adjuster and it's left a little bit of a mark it I mean you have to look for it to see it but it is there other than that very very nicely set up um, and very nicely finished um, this uh, finish here they call it in an artificial rosewood veneer I have no what idea what that is it could be some kind of wood veneer it could be some sort of plastic for all I know there's no way of knowing basically it looks nice and it uh, you know that's that's what it's there for really and in that sense it gets the job done um, what else shall I mention? Now, yesterday the fretboard on this on the the ST70 I mentioned that was uh, Roseacre. Uh, that was a mistake. The fretboard on these guitars is Ovencol, which I'm reliably informed is a close relative of Rosewood. Um, so there you go. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, two Roswell Alnico pickups, uh, three wheel selector, volume and tone. I'll just give a special mention for those volume and tone controls actually uh, you know on an old hi-fi system a good quality one something like a, a Denon or um, Pioneer or one of those brands you know when you kind of turn a volume control and it has that kind of lovely weighted feel to it that's what these pots feel like very nice indeed a very tactile experience turning them up and down uh, we have a Wilkinson uh, three saddle bridge with compensated saddles and we have got the uh, through body there it is through body stringing and uh, a nice touch at this price point is that the ferrules where the um, strings anchored anchor here are actually countersunk into the body which is not something that you can take for granted even on some more expensive guitars um, I said it before I'll say it again every Harley Benton guitar I've ever tried has a beautifully cut nut and this is no exception uh, the nut slots are just the right depth and the action at the first fret is kind of soft and buttery uh, same gripe with the tuners as I had yesterday with the ST70 they work you know the, the the tuning stability on the guitar is absolutely fine i don't want you thinking that it isn't it is but they just feel a little bit numb um there's that kind of thing that I mentioned previously where you turn the peg and there's a fraction of degree of rotation before you start to feel um any kind of movement on the string so 
once again if you're looking for an upgrade for this guitar once you get it then that would be somewhere I would possibly look if you're bothered frankly I could live with them um, if I'm honest uh, three ply scratch plate um, maple neck uh, 21 medium jumbo frets a nice modern feeling flattish fretboard I think it's a 12 inch fretboard um, it's, a, it's a very modern contemporary feeling playing experience uh, the fretwork once again um, no fret sprout perfectly finished fret ends there like that but as a, as with the previous guitar uh, the uh, the playing surface was to begin with a little bit scratchy but I've been playing this guitar for a day or so now and it's um, absolutely fine now it, it, it just takes a little bit of playing in basically uh, what else did I mean yeah basswood body with this um, artificial rosewood veneer and a lovely cream kind of ivory coloured binding around the outside which is absolutely flawless looking at it side on like this it's it's kind of like looking at a, a perfectly poured pint of Guinness with the kind of dark and then the, the light on top beautiful um, so there you go that's the uh, spec of the guitar coming up next uh, you're going to hear what it sounds like and I will apologise in advance uh, for some reason the uh, video that I took of myself playing this guitar came out a little bit glitchy I don't know what's up with this new camera what well, I think what it is that there's a big hot yellow ball in the sky today we don't get to see it often around here and I think it scared the camera nevertheless you will get to hear what the guitar sounds like and you'll see uh, what kind of um, pickup selections I'm using and all the rest of the relevant information so here's how it sounds <laughs> So there you have it, that's what this guitar, the Harley Benton TE70 Rosewood Deluxe Series Telecaster style guitar actually sounds like. I think you'll agree, it is rather impressive. Now then, this guitar is going up on eBay um, and there were a few comments after the last video where people had stated that they wanted a chance to own the guitar but the guitar was up on eBay and sold before they even realised. So where are we now? It's just gone 3 o'clock in the UK on Thursday afternoon. This guitar is going up on eBay at 9.30 in the morning UK time 
and as soon as I list it I'll put a pinned comment beneath this video with the uh, link to that listing so everybody gets a fair crack of the whip. Um, if you would like to see more guitars like this reviewed, you know what to do. Uh, pitch into the GoFundMe campaign. The link is in the description box below. There are over 4,000 subscribers on this channel now, and if everybody uh, threw a quid into the hat, then we could have some seriously nice reviews. Just bears thinking about, doesn't it? Um, proceeds from this guitar, as with all of these guitars, will be going to Zoe's Place, which is a charity in Middlesbrough which provides palliative, respite and end-of-life care to children under five with terminal illnesses. So a very, very worthy cause indeed. And before I go, I'll just mention that if you want some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition, give me a shout via the details at the end of this video. If you live on Teesside in the northeast of England, your first uh, you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson, or wherever you are in the world, you can have a lesson via Skype, and whichever way you do it, your first lesson is free, so you've got nothing to lose. And with that, I'll bid you all a good day, and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now, folks.